Hey Chris. Okay, so I wanted to make this video real quick just to kind of show you what I meant by using the crease of your finger instead of the tips. So sometimes I see people using the tips of their fingers and it kind of makes it feel like you have to be really precise when you're pressing it, but you can actually use the crease just fine. So if you wrap your hand all the way around like that, you can press in, so long as those go in, um, you can do it pretty easily. And then once you press in the thumb lock, you no longer have to press anything in. All you have to do is, is lift it open. But then to the point about it sliding around, um, so if the rubber bumpers on the bottom, if they've got any dust on them or if there's you know, a lot of dust on the surface, um, they might slide, but so long as there's no dust, this thing should lock in place really well and, uh, and not move around. But once you get the hang of it, even if you have it on you know, something, a really slippery surface, you should still be able to you know, open that up just fine, comes over. But uh, definitely, once there's weight in it, like a gun, um, that definitely minimizes the amount that it slides. But even if it does slide around, um, kind of once you get the motion, it should be pretty, pretty natural and intuitive um, once you learn. But yeah, what, definitely, if, so long as those bumpers don't have any dust, once there's weight in it, that should really lock down so there's, there's, no, there's no sliding around or anything like that. I'm also not uh, fully pressing with my palm like I would usually do because I uh, got a bit of road rash I'm still trying to <laughs> recover from. But uh, yeah, either way, I usually like to press down with my palm um, and that's kind of the, the main point of contact when I come in. But even if you don't do that, even if your palm doesn't make contact, you usually can still figure out how to open it so even without pressing your palm on there. But yeah, I appreciate you taking a look at it and your feedback. Thanks, sir.